So this video is for anyone who has absolutely no idea about projection of solids. How to approach a problem when you have been given that there is a solid and it has been inclined at a certain angle either with HP or VP. All of these things and much more coming up in today's session. So good evening friends, this is Manas, your friend and tutor. And in today's session, we are going to deal with a hexahedron. The popular name is a cube. A cube is a solid object whose length, width and height are same, are equal. Uh, let's read the problem first and then I am going to give you a 3D demonstration. And after watching that, the problem is going to get very, very easier for you. In fact, you can make the drawing. Yes, please note my words. You can make the drawing in the next five minutes itself. After watching this uh, 3D demonstration. So, Kindly watch this video right till the end. Here we go. Let's read the problem first of all. So, uh, we have to draw the projections of a cube, a hexahedron, 40 mm image, length, width and height, all of them, 40 millimeters. When a body diagonal of the solid is kept vertical, body diagonal or a solid diagonal, all of them mean the same. Okay, and what exactly is a body diagonal? Let me clarify this. Let me move to the 3D arrangement. If you watch over here, this is what is known as a hexahedron or popularly known as a cube. Length is 40, width is 40 and the height is 40 as well. Let's say the bottom four corners of the cube are represented by A, B, C and D. Whereas the top four corners are 1, 2, 3 and 4. I want all of you to focus specifically at this very corner. If I have to draw a diagonal through this corner, so I'll simply connect this corner with the opposite corner. Okay, this is a simple or a general diagonal. In plane diagonal, you can say. However, if I connect this bottom corner with the opposite top corner, then that would qualify as a solid or a body diagonal. Is this clear to everyone? I hope it is. If you connect the bottom corner to the opposite top corner, then that would qualify as a body or a solid diagonal. That is the first thing. Now, in the question, if you, if you read it, it has been very clearly stated. No inclination either with HP or VP with respect to the axis of the solid has been given. Instead, what we have been given is that body diagonal of the solid is kept vertical body diagonal is kept vertical in bracket it has been written parallel to vp so you have to make sure that this 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 body diagonal is absolutely parallel to the vp and it is vertical let us let us try to implement this condition number one first parallel to vp and then we'll get to this vertical concept okay just stay with me for a while. Take a look. This body diagonal A and 3. As I said, A, B, C, D at the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4 at the top. A is connected with 3, you can say. Think about it. Right now, if you have a careful look at this body diagonal, it is inclined to the HP. Yes, sir, this inclination can be seen from the front very, very clearly. However, if you have a look at this arrangement from the top, you can clearly see that this body diagonal, what is a diagonal? It is a line. It is a kind of a line. And you can see the distance of this line from the VP is constant. That means it is parallel to the VP. So, we are going to initially assume that this entire solid is resting on HP. Okay, you can keep it, keep it at a certain height above the HP also. No issues whatsoever. However, okay. And, uh, but please make sure if it is resting on HP, think about it. From where can you see the true shape of the base? True shape of the base. So the true shape of the base can be seen from the top. And therefore, you have to begin by making the top view first. That is your step number one. In step number one, you have to begin by making this top view. But sir, how are we going to make this top view? You simply select any point at any random distance from this partition line. At an angle of clockwise 45 degree, draw a 40 mm line. At an angle of anti-clockwise 45 degrees, draw another 40 mm line. This is how you have to 
initiate the drawing so far so good is this clear okay let me get back to the basic mode now in step number two we have to keep this diagonal vertical we have made it parallel to the vp but we have to make it vertical that means it is going to be something of this sort the diagonal has to be vertical this way that is making an angle of 90 degree with the horizontal plane this is what is expected from your drawing i think let me copy this wonderful wonderful now let me move this slightly this way hmm? okay what do we want to do as of now we can say sir this 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 diagonal looks inclined to the hp how do we have to keep it we have to keep it vertical when i say vertical it means at an angle of 90 degrees with the horizontal plane so what i'll do is take a look what i'll do is i know all the angles okay you just keep watching isn't it vertical look at this beautiful let me get you the 3d image and now let us see it from the front wonderful you can see this white colored line it is at an angle of at a certain angle with the hp but here it is absolutely vertical this is what is expected from you step one front view this is step two front view in the same fashion this is your step one top view and step two top view this is going to be your final projection this is exactly how the object has been placed or oriented whatever you may call it i think we are good to go and we can very easily make the projections now we can now move to the uh, powerpoint presentation and uh, here we go just a sec okay in the first step let me just make this very clear to everyone this is our diagonal a and 3 okay if you want i can i can zoom into this this is our diagonal how do we start we have to start by making this as the top view let me just show this to you yeah you simply make a point at any random distance and then draw a horizontal line that would be better and with respect to this horizontal line at an angle of clockwise 45 degree you draw a line of 40 millimeters in the same fashion at an angle of this is clockwise this by the way is anti-clockwise this is clockwise okay this is again 40 mm when you've reached these two points what you can basically do is you can extend this line and then you can take this as the center now with your compass you can cut an arc of 40 mm you can get this point it's very simple or 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 what you the other thing that you can do is i mean uh <clears throat> from here at an angle of 45 degrees you can again make this line this line is going to have a length of 40 millimeters this is again an, an approach which you can follow so far so good okay <clears throat> now what now we are going to draw the projectors we are now viewing it from over here we are creating the front view in the front this length would be visible this is 40 this is 40 this is 40 isn't it yes so make this a1 b2 face can be seen this a1 b2 face can be seen okay in the same fashion this b2 c3 face can be seen right so b2 c3 face can also be seen so these are the two faces which can be seen all right sir what about the solid diagonal so for the solid diagonal you have to join a with 3 and i have used a purple color to connect a with 3 in the front view and a with 3 in the top view this is how it looks right now you can see this is the partition line x y so you can clearly see if i make any point on this all of these points are at equal distances from this partition line isn't it since they are at equal distances you can say that this line this body diagonal a3 is absolutely parallel 
to the VP. This is something that we can state right away. In step number two, this angle that you see, it is at a certain angle. Right now, we know that it is less than 90 degrees. So what we have to do in step number two is we have to recreate this entire figure with this solid or body diagonal at an angle of 90 degrees. This angle has to be equal to 90 degrees. Sir, what is the length of this line? A dash, 3 dash. The length is very simple. You can take this much as the radius in your compass. Take A dash as center. Then you can simply cut an arc. You are going to get this point B. Right. But sir, uh, how is it possible to get this point C? It is very easy. Keep one leg of your compass at A dash. Other leg at C dash. With A dash as the center, you can cut an arc. You need another arc. And the intersection is going to give you the point C. Now take this much with 3 dash C dash as the radius and with 3 dash as the center cut another arc. This intersection point will give rise to point C dash. Okay. In the same fashion, we can reach this point also. Let me show this to you. With 1 dash A dash as the radius and with A dash as the center cut an arc. Another arc would be with 3 dash, 1 dash as the radius and with 3 dash as the center cut an arc, this intersection point will give rise to point 1 dash. In the same fashion, you can find this point B dash and D dash and 2 dash and 4 dash. I mean, uh, the easier way would be, instead of using the arcs, simply connect all of them and you can clearly see that this 2 dash, 4 dash lies exactly in between 1 dash and 3 dash. So you can locate the midpoint here and locate the midpoint here also. Okay, this is going to be B dash, D dash and this is going to be 2 dash and 4 dash. I hope this is clear to every one of you. Okay, so far, so good. Now what? Now you can simply complete the front view in step number 2. Now you have to watch it from over here. Make the projectors from top to bottom and then from the step 1's top view to the step 2's top view. For example, this line is meant for, let's say, 1. Okay. This is 1 dash. So, this intersection point is going to give rise to point 1. In the same fashion, all of the remaining points can be worked out by simply horizontal and vertical intersections. Right. What is next? The next thing that we can do is, we just have to think from where, I mean, which faces are clearly visible. You know, these are four points, right? It may look like a line, but over here we have a face and that face happens to be one, two, three, four face. This face I'm talking about one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four face is clearly visible. That is the first thing. In fact, there is this face at the front, which is 2ACBC, this face is visible, this face is visible and hence, uh, I mean, those faces have been shown with the help of solid lines. The points which are not visible somehow are AB and AD. So, from A to D, it is a hidden, hidden below this face ACD4. So, you have to, uh, I mean, a hidden Edge has to be shown with the help of a dashed line in this fashion. So, this completes uh, the entire session for today. Okay, so this was a problem. I thought, I thought instead of having a problem based on axis and end inclination, let's have a problem which is slightly weird where you have to think more. And if you have thought in the right fashion, in the right direction, then you can make the drawing. Okay, and by the way, you can check in your drawing itself this angle. In fact, works out as 54.74 degrees. It should be somewhere between 53 and 55 if you are doing it manually. I did this problem initially on AutoCAD, so I know the exact value. Right? So guys, that was all from my set for today. And if you've got any doubt or query, or if you have a special problem, write it down in the comment section below. Okay? And if you are this way through the video, I would strongly suggest you to like it and subscribe to my channel and also share it with as many friends as you can. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care and have a nice, nice day. Thank you.